Well, here we are, back in uh, Stellar Tactics. I haven't been able to really play much of anything lately. I've been working my butt off for money, money, money. Um, so it's right after tutorial. Again, okay, we can rotate everything. I've never been past this point. So, uh, tab, there's nothing to see, and that's... All right, we'll talk to her. Dr. Emily Jensen. Dr. Emily Jensen looks relieved. She steps closer and holds out her arm to steady you. How do you feel? You've been at a deep cryo sleep for a long time. I'm very sorry about the loss of your team members. Hey, I'm great. Good. I've been monitoring you for over a week now since we picked up your escape pod. You are very lucky we found you. Unfortunately, your team members' cryo chambers malfunctions. We've provided them with the appropriate honors as indicated by their termination implants. Thanks. Several more weeks and you would have been in raider territory. No telling what it would have happened. Uh, how'd you find me? We got a tip from a freighter. A friend of ours, Roger Crayson. You remember him, right? Uh-huh. He has his own freight hauling business now. 20 ships in total. He does a brisk business running commodities in the core systems. Wait a minute, wasn't that... Hmm, core systems? Yes, the core systems consist of several hundred star systems that have been colonized and, under, and are under sovereignty rule. Who rule? They are the ruling power in the core systems. There is so much to tell. Briefly, after the arrival, as it is called now, the houses went to work fighting it out for power. In the end, House Farland won and immediately established an empire that all now call the Sovereignty. They hold contract over the core systems. Sounds kind of like what we were trying to get away from. Yes, I agree. However, it's not all bad. Power is controlled by the Sovereignty, but for the most part, the government is a democracy. Free enterprise, taxes, and elections. Okay. What happened to the ship after, you know, boom, ejection stuff? Roger and I made... Oh, Emily Jensen, okay. Roger <laughs> Roger and I made it to an escape pod. There was so little time. I did manage to reset the timers on the crew's cryo chambers, though the Dauntless had never been found. Like you, and me for that matter, they may have been drifting for over 700 years. Seven... Seven what? Yes, that's right. There's a horn. See, I'm in an RV living off of solar. A horn. Let's see if this NVIDIA broadcast noise reduction gets rid of that stupid horn. You know, I know that the horn... The horn works, buddy. Turn up your hearing aid if you can't hear it, all right? Okay, so anyways, yes, that's right. It's been over 500 years since the others arrived at their destination. Much has happened. In time, you will come to understand the changes that have taken place. Not only in respect to the colonization, but also events that transpired after the arrival. Roger and I f were found just 10 years ago. I've been looking for you ever since. Honk honk. What changes? Much has changed. There is something, something we need to talk about. But now isn't the time. Dr. Ramos can explain when we... Dr. Ra we killed him! Dr. Jensen looks down at her feet, slightly embarrassed. She glances at you, measuring your mood. <laughs> okay. Dr. Ramus is here with us. He did not die. His minions, they saved him somehow, placed him in, a, in an escape pod, and linked his trajectory with ours. I know how you must feel, but believe me, Dr. Ramus has paid for his mistakes. He will be paying for them for a long time to come. He is the reason we are here now, in this place. Ramus is critical to our mission, so please, when you talk to him, listen to what he has to say. Uh, where are we? Dr. Jensen glanced around the room. This is one of many ancient ruins found on planets throughout the colonies. It seems that we are not alone in the universe. Other life forms lived here millennia ago. There is nothing left of them other than ruins similar to this one. Not much is known about them, but they seem to colonize many planets throughout the systems in the area. 
So the ruins have colonized many planets throughout the systems in the area. We found many different simple life forms as we expanded in this area of the universe, but no other intelligent life. The ruins are a bit of a mystery. Dr. Ramus believes there is something more to be discovered here. He's been going on about an energy source below us, something he's detected with his sensor since you've been brought here. Dr. Ramus isn't prone to wandering off tasks, so there must be something to it. We are using this site as a research facility. Dr. Ramus and I are researching the phage mutations he investigated on the Dauntless. Why? I think Dr. Ramus would be the best person to fill you in on the details. Why don't I join you and we can go speak with him? That is, if you're up with it. He's wandering around here somewhere looking for that energy signature. Dr. Jensen would like to join your party. Uh, okay. There you are. You just kind of, boop, went away for a minute. And you've got a who's, who's got what? Ooh, that was a scratchy little sound. You can pound Dr. Ramus, okay? And shoot him. Ooh, a thunderstorm pistol. Um, what are your skills? Uh, I can, that's your armor character. Pistols, three. Uh, why do you have a sledgehammer when you have no pound pound stuff? You're a pistol user. Okie dokie. Uh, do we have a log? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I guess we'll go find loot. Um. Uh, I wonder how many of those we got. Oh, uh, twelve. Uh, Fourteen. Flamer fuel. Submachine gun ammo. You know, did I get my dead people's guns? Hmm. No. Well, that sucks. What are they going to use them for? Alright. Uh, warm martini shaker, leather flight armor, armor plus 12. Uh, combat helmet, combat armor, where are you? Boink. Uh, I guess that's better. Yeah, oh, plus one dexterity, endurance plus three. All right, doctor, what do you got? Combat armor plus eight. What do you mean repair? Your condition's 100%. Uh, where's armor? Oh, that's... Ooh, a new screen. Oh, okay. Go away, go away. Uh, heavy, I don't, game, explain those things when we get to it. Mm, plus four hit, oh, I'm, okay, I got hit points things. Apparently in 700 years or whatever, I didn't heal. Oh, it'd be really great if, oh yeah, she said he was meandering around somewhere. I forgot how much this map sucks. So we were down here. Now we are going that way. Which means I should just do this so I'm not so confused. Mm, yeah, that makes more sense. 
And I completely forgot what was on this end of the map. Oh, nothing. So let's go this way. To nothingness. And we'll continue. You won't let me continue? Oh, not pressing that button. It won't let me continue. Uh, well, there's a whole lot of north. Hmm. Tried. Couldn't commit suicide. Oh, let's go over here. There's something meandering over here. Or we're getting... Who are you? Hey, you're Dr. Ramus. Ah, Dr. Ramus seems preoccupied. A scanner in his hand examining a small stone tablet. He turns to you, startled. Oh, dear. I didn't even hear you coming. So glad to meet you again. My condolences regarding your colleagues. I thought you were dead. Dr. Ramus's hand darts to his chest, a pain look washing over his face briefly. Yes, you could say that. My last memories are being dragged through the command deck and being placed in one of the escape pods by one of my experiments. Quite unexpected. I lay there in a pool of blood, fully expecting to die, and yet, here I am, saved by my nemesis, my creation. Your Nemahua? Yes, my experiments have set off quite a drastic series of events. Events that have spread across the colonies, causing quite a stir. I fully expected mutation, but only under control observation. With the ejection of the vats and several hundred years of mutation, my phage evolved into a major threat. Abominations, really. Let me explain. The sequencing of the phage genome injected into human flesh is mutated into an alternate life form. This life form is intelligent. Unlike the previous plagues that destroyed our planet, this mutated phage triggers the limbic cortex, unlocking the fight, flight, feeding, and fear mechanisms, but leaving high levels of reasoning and learning in place. Over the last 700 years, these phages seem to have arrived at an equilibrium where the mutation has stabilized, though we are still finding variants in their genome from samples we've taken. You saw the stasis tubes in the labs. Those are host specimens that we've been sampling. Highly legal. Hence, our current research... Hence, our current... Re Hence, our current residence here in this ruin... To hide our research. I can't read today. In short, since I am aware that you have been asleep for a very long time, the vats ejected, many of the sleepers mutated, the, trajectory, the trajectories of the vats spread them across this area of space. Then the phage woke, learned, mutated further, and continued to seek out their brethren. Also, they seem to be spreading the virus to small outposts and regions in the border worlds, the fringes of colonization, as humans move further into the distant reaches of space. To summarize... Wait, you already... We're still summarizing? Okay. Maybe it's to super summarize, my little experiment has become a major problem. We now have aggressive intelligent zombies that can fly spaceships assimilating and eating human beings. That, that, yeah, that's a problem. The phage no longer spreads the way it used to, but it spreads. So here I am, responsible for this tragedy. Tragedy responsible for the deaths of tens of thousands of human beings, and likely the only person with a solution to the problem. So you see, I'm trapped in a prison of my own making, the only road to redemption, a solution to this quandary. Should the Dauntless ever be found, I would likely be locked away for life. Until then, Dr. Jensen and Roger Crayson have been kind enough to keep my involvement quiet in the hopes that I can remedy my mistakes. Dr. Ramus looks at you, roomy eyes watery with tears. I hope you'll do the same. I have. I'm so sorry. I know what I did was wrong, and I only ask that I be given a chance to remedy the situation. I do have some ideas that could help us negate the situation, reduce the number of phage, and end their spread. It will take hard work, and it will be very dangerous. Well, considering we did... Uh, let's see throw a grenade at you, and you somehow survive that, and then shot you until you were dead. You know, you survive that, so sure, whatever, buddy. Uh, how can I help? Wait, what did I click? Okay, I, I think I claimed some responsibility, which was not correct. Uh, 
Relief washes over his face. He glances at Dr. Jensen, then back to you. Yes, your help would be most welcome and necessary. Let me explain. Oh, should have been more like, yes. Your help would be most welcome and necessary, whatever. Let me explain. While these phage are highly dangerous, intelligent, and aggressive, they have a major weakness. Sugar. A flaw that leaves them vulnerable. Reproduction. Oh, they're horny bastards. Phage can, oh, <laughs> cannot reproduce. So, well, that's, they could still be horny. The only way they can increase their number or replace lost phage is to assimilate other human beings. They do this by at attaching polyps to sedated human beings. These polyps secrete a green liquid, extend tendrils into the flesh of the person being assimilated, and eventually recode their DNA. This process takes days, in some cases weeks, during which time the host is completely vulnerable. It is during this time that a serum can be injected into the host, modifying its DNA, so it's no longer able to reproduce. Further, the serum mutates the spinal polyps of the host, so they excrete a pheromone that attracts phage and at the same time alters phage sensory perception. This change in sensory perception makes these altered phage hostile towards other phage. The entire process starts a sort of self-destruct mechanism that can wipe out an entire coven. Uh, okay. Ah, yes. Phage con congregate in covens, generally deep underground or in abandoned facilities throughout the outer fringes of settled space, sometimes right in the middle of an area that they are assimilating. Covens are the ideal place to test and apply the serum. It is dangerous work, however, and that's where you come in, because you're expendable. I mean, we need someone like you to build a team of mercenaries, enter these covens, and wipe them out. You are perfectly suited to the job as your DNA is resistant to the original viral effects. Though phage no longer spreads the disease through contact, they still weld their original toxins in new ways. With a blood sample from you, I can create an injection that makes us and anyone you recruit resistant to these toxins. This is crucial. Until now, entering a coven was highly dangerous. We've been able to recruit people to help us. But getting into a coven has a very high chance of sickness and even death. We've lost many good people over the last 10 years. Okay, I, I guess next. I need to draw some blood for you and then I can access the lab on the ship to develop the antitoxin. What ship? Oh, eh. Shouldn't take more than a week or two. Then I think we pack up and head out. I have some ideas of where to head next and Dr. Jensen will want to come along. Of course, she's in my party. In general, though, I think we will want to put ourselves in your hands and follow your lead. Dr. Jensen and I have already talked about this. You have a ship? Oh, exactly. <laughs> what ship? Well, yeah. How else would we get around? Our ship is on the surface just outside the main entrance to the north and west of here. All right. Let's go. Oh, great. He's in my party. Uh, very well, then. I will join you and follow you wherever you go like a puppy. Dr. Ramos joined your party. What do you got? Hmm. You got a weird-looking electric shaver. Oh, it's a tactical rifle. And the Thunderstorm SK Auto Submachine Gun. You have a tactical rifle? And a submachine gun? And you have a sledgehammer that you can't really use and a pistol. Okay. Character. Rifles, three. Pistols, three. Submachine guns, one. Alright, so he's using his rifle. Tactical rifle. Gotcha. Oh, what do I got? I've got a standard issue rifle and a pistol. Can I do anything here? Yes? No? Maybe? Alright. Oh, I got hacking. What do they have for reds and yellows? Ramus, a whole shitload of nothing. Emily, whole shitload of nothing. 
you know, you'd think maybe first aid, um, Ramus, I don't know, maybe a little hacking, uh, well, I don't know, something's not right there, okay, let's keep going this way. Great! It's Dr. Emily Jensen. Now that we're all in agreement, let's gather our gear and head out. I think our first order of affairs is to get you to the trade station. You should be able to find some trained mercenaries there to aid you on your travels. The exit to the landing site is southwest of here. So, somewhere southwest. All right, let's head this way. Let's go, people. Come on, come on, come on. We got another north. Let's go north, north, north. I'm hitting tab. Oh, what's this? Nothing. Nothing we can access. Hey, do you guys know you got a big freaking blue force screen block in the way? You were blocked. An enemy crew member or locked door may be in the way. No, it's a big blue screen. It's got a Muir pattern on to it. Okay. Oh, I can't go southwest. This, like, is totally useless still up here. <laughs> what the heck is the point of that thing? Because it doesn't turn. Yeah, well, anyways. Am I going marginally the correct way and dead end dead end dead end dead end dead end dead end uh, the hell dr jensen looks at the screen of a handheld device scavers they've located us and breached our defenses that explosion may have sealed us inside the ruins while they attempt to scrap our ship scavers Yes, scavengers. Usually not much of a threat. They scrap metal from abandoned base bases, factories, and debris from past wars. Lately, however, they've been getting a bit more aggressive. Something to do with a new leader. Past wars? Seven wars since the arrival. Fewer in our homeland in the same amount of time. The difference is that these wars have been held both in space and on the ground. Hundreds of thousands have died. These wars have left large swaths of derelict war equipment, ships, and debris scattered across the core systems. Scavers make their living scrapping metal and salvaging equipment from the remnants. The houses are as divided as ever. Let's head for the entry. Uh, okay. Um, I don't think there's much more south to do. Oh, there Okay. Well, let's go this other way. You know, west. Well, that looks final. I don't think we can dig our way out. There is another way. Another exit leads down into the ruins further. This should be an exit through there somewhere. We installed a shield barrier to keep Orchids from coming up and bothering us. They're such a bother. They usually aren't much of a problem, but this ruin is infested. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sounds good. Let's gather whatever gear we can, then head to the other exit. Be ready to fight. I expect there may be a broad mother down there. <laughs> Figures. Nothing's ever freaking simple. Uh, fusion cell. Use single use applications for what? Oh, probably for that blue shield. Rifle. Ooh, shotgun! I want. I don't have shotgun level 3. I want shotgun. I want shotgun. When I created the character, I was. I meant to do shotgun, but the game crashed after the initial creation. And on new creation, I think I'd have had a few sips of beer. 
I said, yeah, rifles. Yeah, we'll take rifles. I wasn't even thinking. I wanted shotguns. Ooh. Alright, where is this going? Someplace new. Someplace original, shiny, and new. And there we are. So, black up, back, black, black, back up. To, uh, over here. And up here, and right there. This is it. I'll take the barrier down, and we can head through the passage. The entrance should be down this corridor. Let's go. Mission accomplished. Heading down, down, down. You must gather your group before leaving the area.